Okay, it's nighttime, and David and I and the wife who are going to take the car on uh, a night run. But the, David, you said that it, it's already on, right? Because it's yeah, got remote it's start. On, and then what I can do is I can extend it by hitting the lock button, press and hold again. Once it flashed six times, ten more minutes has been added to it. So for real? it'll run for 20 minutes. So this car is, all these loaner cars, they throw a lot of the options on there. So you'll be impressed, yeah. right? Yeah. So you'll be impressed. Yeah, for, for real. So this car is, yeah. well, let's go take a look at it. Since, uh, it's pretty quiet, actually. I can't even hear it run. I mean, a little, aside from a little clicking. So, wait, where's the waifu? Oh, she's in the uh, back trunk. <laughs> Dude, you threw your wife in the back trunk? I had to that's put her a, in the back trunk. That's a lot. abusive, man. I, I put her in the back trunk because my uh, my mom was sitting there and she wanted to put her sodas and stuff in the car right there. <laughs> Dude, man, that's waifu abuse, man. We'll see if she's alive later, dude. You know, because you know that's a like you know how they say they're like yokai, dude. <laughs> you know that they you buy a waifu like that and you're oh is that Honda talking to us? Nope, it's just my little uh, Lamborghini radar okay. detector. Okay, so the only thing is like as long as seat belt is always on for the driver's seat, you can activate brake hold system. And what you can do is when I shift to drive, it holds the brake. I'm let off the brake. Oh, it's it's got a it's got a. Um, yeah, it's holding the brake on its own. Oh, for real? Yeah. That's awesome. So it's got the Garmin-based navigation. Yeah, I recognize that layout for Garmin. Yeah. Oh, that's a really nice bright uh, display too. Oh yeah. yeah and then everything's yeah. So yeah, these uh. Yeah. So this has got the. Uh, tilt uh it's really hard to see it but it's nighttime so oh, anyway let's take a ride dude let's take a ride and get some because you i know you you said you had a what a 2014 civic yeah 2014 i output about 148 horsepower and this is a 1.5 liter yep. outputting like 180 right 180 it's pretty hardcore okay so it's got that driver assist yep that's what i've got on right now and that camera just like yours yeah. does this have that uh, internet link uh i I think uh, it doesn't have it. Only the Odyssey and the new 2018 Accord will have it. So they took that option off the low, off the smaller cars. Yeah, the small cars won't have it. Uh, only the uh, the big vehicles like the, the midsize sedan, uh, which is the Accord, and the uh, Honda Odyssey, and will have it. For right. 2017 Pilots or 2018 Pilots and uh, 2018 CRV, they may put built-in uh, Wi-Fi. Dang. Yeah. I should be shooting this with night mode, but I have no clue how to use it at the moment. So <laughs> that's okay. I mean, I think that, you know, we're just here to get impressions on it anyway. And so, so my fat ass uh, is going to probably make the car way less uh, fast. <laughs> so <laughs> we're just going to see how it handles and how uh, it goes around, you know, and some of uh, the. Yeah, we'll take it out on the highway and see how fast it can go too. Let me see the let me see the tackle. I mean that that'd be so since it's a there's no mechanical there's no analog tack it's all yeah it's uh, all uh, it's all LCD it's all di yeah digital it's it's hard does it actually keep up yep, can you it, it actually keeps up it keeps up yeah it does keep up it is the most like uh, it's the most interactive like it's really responsive there's a, oh yeah there's a pole yeah, there's okay you see pole. a jerk yeah, yeah you see it jerk the camera. Yeah. <laughs> but like uh yeah so the because back in the uh back in the early uh, like the 80s and the 90s they had digital tax but you couldn't they, they didn't respond fast enough yeah they yeah. were too slow because yeah. the technology wasn't on that great back then but i remember like the uh the lexus uh uh what is it the lexus v10 supercar uh the lfa yeah the lfa had only had like a digital tag because yeah. an analog tag couldn't uh, <laughs> rev fast enough yeah, that's yeah. the thing about the LFA. It had a digital tech, but it was so slow and it didn't keep up. So you didn't really know how fast you were going in that thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, Toyota should have never had charged so much for the LFA. Dude, that thing was like... It's that, like 350000 Wait, that's brand right, new. man. That was more expensive than Lamborghini, dude. They only made 500 of those things, too. About yeah. 200 of them were the uh, racing models, like the, uh, the track models. Yeah, but some of those guys really liked them. Like, uh, what was that? The guys from Top Gear liked it. Yeah, I think only Jeremy Clarkson liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy, I, that I, guy I loved that. I didn't like the LFA. I don't like its its design. And the fact that they failed to put cup holders is uh, 
I think too. <laughs> <laughs> you never complaining about it. It's like LFA is nice and great and all, but the cup holders are missing. <laughs> hey, you know the seating position is different from your Civic. Yeah, because yeah. these are uh, these are brand new uh, bucket seats that they created for the the tennis. It's, it's a really comfortable yeah. bucket seat. Is it leather? Yep, it's leather. Dude, man. And the thing is, I did my pinch, butt's not worthy, yeah, I man. I did pinch the leather, and it is real leather. It's not pleather. Yeah, no, I can I can actually feel. It. Yeah, it's yeah. it's like leather. It's a yeah, but this yeah. car's got all the options. I'm sure it costs a hell of a lot. <laughs> well, you this know? is an EXL, so it's actually twenty five thousand six hundred fifty. That's really? how much it is. If you go for the sport touring, which they just now released uh, starting this month, uh, the sport touring is twenty eight thousand. Difference is suspension and wheels. Yep, uh, you get the uh, the G four CVT transmission with the paddle shifter that can shift up to seven gears. Oh, okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's the uh, that's the semi automatic, right? Yeah. Okay. And then if you put premium gas, they say the sport trims rates to one hundred and eighty, but. We don't know because Honda purposely underrates it for some reason. I don't know why. Because someone has dyno tuned the sport trim level, a six speed manual too, and it actually makes 195 uh, horsepower when they dyno tune the sport trim. You know, I'm just looking at the, the <laughs> GPS here and it actually gives you an on on screen readout of how fast you're going. It does. Yeah, like uh, in miles per hour and elevation too, yep. and a, a compass. So it's actually pretty decent. Uh, it's it, a, it also tells you where you have traveled too with this yeah. uh, Garmin. This is a really big display. This is like a, geez, this is pretty big. This is about like a seven inch or more a display. It's uh, actually, I think it's an eight and a half inch. Eight and a half? Inch. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it's it's pretty bright. I don't know how it looks during the daytime, but it's pretty bright. <laughs> it's still pretty bright. The oh, okay. It's still, it's still, so every time you, yeah. every time you uh, do a lane change, the camera goes on yep, too, Yeah, the huh? camera goes on, or you can always activate it by pressing the button and the turn stop. So it's almost like yours. Yep. The only thing mines don't have is the brake hold system, which when you come to a complete stop, it holds the brake for you, and you can just let off the brake. This is a really quiet car. It is quiet. Yeah, it's pretty. Because right now, it's, uh, I, I activate the econ mode, so and it's on drive mode too. Who's it talking to us? Oh, that's the radar. Yeah, it's talking oh. to us. So once we do is like as we get here to the highway, I'm gonna turn off econ. I'm gonna shoot the sport mode. Sport mode ain't gonna help with my fat ass, dude. <laughs> you, you need your you need your wife here to. You just seen your wife when you get the. But we're going uphill. Yeah, so that it roars louder too. Oh dang! Yeah. You can actually feel that torque. You, you know, yeah, it's 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 pretty amazing actually. People are saying it, that there's turbo lag for this, but since there's no IV tech and there's just like. Uh, it's normal. Uh, the turbo is actually quite fast. It kicks in right away for me. Like five, five. Yeah, yeah it is. Oh, well, that's pretty good. I can feel it. I can feel yeah, it we turbo. were already up to sixty on the yeah. ramp, man. <laughs> and that was just in a matter of seconds, dude. So it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty responsive. Yeah. It seemed to turn really good too while we're going up ramp. It yeah. Yeah, because it's uh, it's uh, January and it's kind of like a slick. The highways are a little bit slick, you know. Yeah. So, but it's, it yeah, it, it seems really really good. So that's David's radar detector. That's not anything in the Civic. Yeah. But the the GPS tells you all your eating ha eating stuff and uh, everything like that. So it's it's pretty cool. Do you like this more in your car? Oh, I love this car more. Well, you test drove the okay, so you test drove like uh, the uh, the Mustang too. The yeah. Mustang had more torque, right? The Mustang does has more torque because um, it's it's made to kick out lots of torque right away too. But this hair gives me almost the oh, exact. Oh man, same it's thing. actually yeah, it's really yeah. good. It was a. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you how fast we were going, but it was definitely a really quick kick. <laughs> we we jumped up like you know, you know, almost 10 miles per hour really quick. So yeah, the torque is. No, I don't know. There's no turbo lag in this. Yeah, not. I mean, I've been in a lot of cars. There's yeah. This is not. There's no turbo lag. It's almost like a supercharger actually. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not really like a turbo. It's yeah. it's the weirdest thing. So they they probably tuned it to be like that too, so that you get like instant throttle response, you know, and everything like that. 
Yeah, because, uh, yeah, that feels more like a supercharger than a turbo. It must be. Is it a small turbo or a big turbo? It's got to be it's bigger. It's a small turbo, but it kicks in really fast. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. I didn't do any homework on this car, so I have no clue, <laughs> you know, how this car is engineered because I just have not been keeping up for the longest time. Yeah. Yeah, so Honda has says that um, when it's 2018, all their vehicles will be turbocharged. For real? Yep, all vehicles will be turbocharged. Yeah, man, that's kind of messed up. I mean, usually turbo, turbo had the worst rap because the insurance rates went so high <laughs> back then. That's what killed the turbo cars back in the 90s, in the early, the late 90s and 2000s. Tur insurance rates on the turbos were so high, manufacturers just stopped making them. Because oh, yeah. I remember like with the RX-7, the the last generation RX-7 and the Supra, yeah, the turbos were like, uh, the turbos were like just really hard to insure. How's the turning radius in this car? Pretty good. It's pretty really tight. Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty tight. Long wheelbases usually have a, sometimes have like a really off turning radius, but the car is very uh, comfortable. Cause it, it has really such a, yeah. And uh, it's, it's really responsive too. Yeah, because it has such a long wheelbase, it's really comfortable. It's a, uh, is it over a hundred inches? It's gotta be over. Yeah, it's actually over a hundred. I believe yeah, it's a, well, uh, it's like somewhere nearly around 100, 119 or 120. For real? Yeah, Damn, man, that's long. That's like used to be BMW long wheelbases, man. Yeah, because yeah, I used to work at BMW, man. They're like, why don't you just get like a, a 350i? And I was like, yeah, that thing will I'll be a, a Civic Turbo. I was like, yeah, 350i is nice, uh, especially if you buy the M package, but it's too expensive, man. It is, dude. Bro, do you have all that stuff in your wheel, on your steering wheel? Yeah, it's, it's lit up, right? Yeah, it's all lit up. Oh, so it's up. nice, yeah. Yeah, you have interior uh, illumination. I'm sure that's uh, yeah. extra, maybe, I don't know. No, it's this is all standard. Okay. Maybe for the EXL. So okay. all these will light up no matter what at night, too. So the, the driver controls yeah. and the steering wheel are all lit yeah, up and everything like that? Up, yeah, It's pretty nice. And um, they do sell the interior illumination kit. So you get like a blue LED in the console. Oh, they got racer yeah. options? Yeah, blue okay. LED. <laughs> Blue LED for the uh, foot wells, and then you get the door seals to the light up door seals. But, oh yeah, we got light up mirrors. <laughs> Mine's don't have light up mirror for my 2014 coupe. Okay, so yeah, okay. Um, it's hard to see. Uh, mm. It's hard to see anything really at nighttime in the car, but it's all right. Oh, it's pretty fast here. See, we're already, we're already we're up in the, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's going up ramp for my fat ass. Okay, so. Oh yeah, that's really, that's really quick acceleration actually. You know, considering there's, there's me in the car and it's and you're starting to uh, drizzle a little bit. That's pretty quick. How many miles does this car have on it right now? It's got 1,400. The design, engines aren't really even broken in yet. Yeah. Yeah, so it should actually go faster in the future. Oh yeah, the car is really quick actually. <laughs> yeah, the turbo is good. Yeah. It's a good turbo. It's, it's it's so much power. Yeah, it's like uh, it's usable power too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No no wheel spin, no nothing like that. No torque steer. No torque steer. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, what they did do is they did add like uh, the new G4 CVT transmission. They did uh, tune up the suspensions, uh, so it's got a sport uh, suspension already for the hatchback. And this is only for the hatchback. So if you like, if you buy the sedan uh, or the coupe, you won't get anything like that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty good. So you can see right up ahead, there's another Civic, Civic sedan. Oh, I see it on the right? <laughs> yeah, on the, the right-hand side. Yeah, yeah. Damn. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, dude. So, you gonna try to get one of these now? Yeah, I'm gonna try and get the Spar Touring. When it comes out? Yeah, when it comes out. Well, it's already out, but dealership was just waiting for the shipments to come from uh, Great Britain. That's it. Oh, dang. It's come, yeah, it's coming from the UK. 
You can get the automatic or you can get the, the semi-automatic? Uh, the sport touring only comes in the uh, automatic CVT, but it comes with paddle shift there. Okay. So you can always go into manual mode. I don't know if you can keep up, honestly. I mean, I, I never got used to I never got used to the paddle shifters. You know, so I was always like a, a clutch and a clutch and uh, stick guy. <laughs> but the paddle shifters are they threw me out. The first the first time I drove one of those was in the BMW 5 Series, and I couldn't even get used to it at all. I couldn't get used to up shifting and down shifting. It it felt weird about a clutch. You know, so. But I know these are faster. Okay, that's it. Judging that that's the big sedan, looks like he has the hubcap. So that's the base model. It's running in the 2.4 liter engine. Oh, the Civic Sedan. Oh, okay. It does really look really different. Yeah. It does look really different. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, the the hatchback, look, the hatchback looks way better than the sedan then. Well, I guess it depends on if you like the sedan style or hatchback style. But I've always been the hatchback guy. Oh yeah, it's just, it pulls really good even yeah, in the rain, dude. Really the braking is pretty good. Braking feel. The braking is really good. See. Okay. It's dang. really responsive. Really fast. Yeah, David. There you go, man. Get the new car. <laughs> why is it? Why is it giving us a? Are you? Are you? A, uh, I'm. I'm turning on. Okay. To see my blind spot. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that is a very nifty feature to see yeah. your blind spot with the camera. I mean, I think it's worth it just to see that blind spot there. Oh, dang, David. Yeah, this is a. You would definitely get in trouble with this car if you're not careful, man. <laughs> yeah, I can. Especially since I would get in trouble if I buy the red one, too. <laughs> yeah. People would not know. These are one of those cars that if you don't know what it is, yeah, yeah you might be taken by surprise. Uh, yeah, you'd be, you'd be really taken by surprise, especially if... Uh, yeah, if you get that, uh, what was that kit? That new flash kit you said? Uh, Hyundai released uh, the Flash Pro and the Reflash. There's, there's downtown St. Paul. <laughs> I was gonna exit out there, but... <laughs> it's all right, we can keep going. We can exit somewhere else. I'm also taking the whole round trip, you know. I might edit this video later, but otherwise, just to see how... It's only sprinkling right now, you know, but... I do have a back windshield wiper too. <laughs> they have a. Flashback. I remember when the racers uh, just, you know, late at night you'd see them racing around here. Oh, yeah. University I mean, used to be a real uh, a big place where they just all come on together. So. We just um, exit here, David. We can exit on uh, 35 North, yeah, and then we can we can exit somewhere else too. So, but there we go. Man, David, I don't know how you can handle the. Uh... There we go. There we go. And then uh, we we'll just. Exit off of. Uh, we're gonna exit into Kaguya. Because Kaguya has the back road that leads straight to Mongolia. Really? Yeah. I have no clue, man. <laughs> Been here for a while and I still don't know all the roads. The Minnesota's got some. Uh, the Twin Cities has got some twisty on ramps and off ramps. They're crazy. Basically, I think that they're, des they're designed by nuts. Because you have okay, like yeah. roughly half a second to exit or not, not exit or you just die. So <laughs> basically, people have learned to slow the hell down when they're exiting and, on, uh, and they're exiting and going coming on the ramp in and, and the Twin Cities here. So it's a little bit surprising that they're, they're that knowledgeable about it. But yeah, yeah it's just uh, there's some twisty roads here though, right, David? Lots of twisty roads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Even this, yeah, even this uh, off ramp is kind of twisty. Like you know, all the roads are so twisty. It's, it's crazy. I mean, the uh, on ramps and off ramps here. It's not like in other states where the on ramp and off ramps are like gently curving and stuff. You know, uh, you know, not not like that, dude. Here, you got like freaking 
you know, initial D style freaking drifting on ramps and off ramps. <laughs> for real. I mean, look at this one. Yeah, this one is yeah look at this one. Look, that's drifting. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Be good for drifting. Yeah, if you, if you screw up, you're dead here, dude. Yeah. yeah, you could definitely try to drift here if you want to at nighttime, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but damn. Ooh. Nah, but I would need a really big, uh, big track if I'm going to learn to drift. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if you can drift with these uh, semi-automatic cars anymore. You know. Well, this is fully automatic. It, the semi-automatic would be like uh, the one with the paddle shifter. Yeah. So. That so that would be faster, better, right? Yeah. The paddle shifter will be faster, but I don't have paddle shifter for this because this is supposed to be the the daily driving version. So it's just a. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you I just see. have sport mode, low mode, that's it. Well, so we're all we're on sport mode for the longest yeah. time. But now we're back in econ okay. and drive mode. Does it automatically shift to econ? Nope. Oh, you have you... to activate econ by pressing the button right here. For real? Yeah. All the time? Yep. Econ button on the fly. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I guess this uh, ra radar detector saves David from getting his ass ticketed though. It does. It <laughs> has actually, it has. <laughs> I found a cop on the highway and it was like, it pulled someone ahead of me, but then I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> thank God for this radar detector. I'm still trying to understand the codes that it gives out. I don't, I don't know what KN means most of the time. Oh, what? Really? Yeah. You know what's really funny is that your radar detector is a little Lamborghini. Yeah. Nobody really know what that's actually a radar detector, dude. Yeah. Man. Uh, KA band is just a, a, I think it's just a radar um, uh, frequencies that maybe even some truckers and some other people use too, you know, so. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I can't, I, I can't remember. I used to know them, but. But I do know that uh, some people do have radars too in their car and it will say friendly first. Dude. For real? Yeah, it will say friendly so that way you know it's someone who's not a cop. And if it says traffic light, you know, yeah, see traffic signal light. Yeah, so it's telling you to come to a, a slowdown from traffic light. That's what I'm, I'm seeing it as. <laughs> but do comment below in the YouTube video. And uh, if you think I'm wrong, please do tell me. I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> yeah, you can tell us what the what those uh, bands are. I have no clue anymore. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's any new standards out. Maybe there are, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, I. I it, it's it's crazy. This feels like as comfortable as like a almost like a Camry. It just doesn't. It's how heavy oh, is this, this car? This car is not heavy at all. I think it, it lost like 500 pounds for the hatchback. Really? Yeah, they, they shaved off a lot of pounds, lots of weight. Dude, that plastic stuff in the engine, dude. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess that's where it's going to, those uh, high temp plastics and stuff like that. Yeah. So there's the Lamborghini released the Chintanaro back in 2016. And you know what? That car is completely carbon fiber. And even the engine is made of carbon fiber, too. Dude, man, that's crazy. <laughs> I know. That's like. Wow. You know, it's only gonna last a few years before it's gonna. <laughs> Some parts are still aluminum, but uh, it does have carbon fiber parts of the, on the engine. Yeah, the car, this the Civic is pretty. Uh, you know, it's pretty quiet, and it's uh, you know you don't hear much noise at all, no tire noise or anything like that. Yeah, I mean for the uh, hatchback, it comes built in with the uh, active noise cancellation, so that's what makes it so quiet. So that's actually going through the speakers? Yeah, the active noise cancellation. Oh, seriously? Using, yeah, using the sound from the outside and from the speakers, they cancel out all, all other noise. No, well, that means that speaker system must... Yeah, I guess you could do that, yeah, it's uh... Well, all that shuts off the moment you like, you rev the engine. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, and in Twin Cities, there's a whole lot of radio, radio signals then. There's a lot of radio signals. <laughs> oh, but it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty comfortable, nice car, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, is, that, this could definitely be a family car because the back seats there, I think adults can fit in them pretty, um, uh, pretty comfortably. 
especially yeah i think it's in the back pretty, pretty comfy as uh i'm five feet eight so and i like to sit high i don't like to sit low like most people <laughs> so i have my seat raised all the way up for this car oh, okay so you can actually have like lots of space if you're sitting behind me <laughs> I mean, there's other people who've done car review of the hatchback too. It's like, they set the seating to like six feet tall people. And yeah, there should be enough room for six footers in here, yeah. for sure. Because uh, well, the the sunroof actually doesn't uh, take away space. Actually, it actually gives no. it some space yeah. because um, there's an indent here, and it it must uh, it must slide upwards and out. Yep. Yeah. When they when Honda created the the new hatchback, uh, they actually. Dude, dude, remember you're handicapped. We can park in a uh, handicap space. <laughs> yeah. How did you get the handicap sticker? It's well, I'm a personal care assistant for my. Oh, okay, okay. He's disabled, and I drive him to his doctor's appointments, okay. and I drive him to like stores, or anything if he wants. I thought to I thought maybe that was something that the the dealer put in there, no. but that's not. <laughs> I do. Let's 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 see if your wife is still alive. <laughs> probably, probably not. We'll see your wife who did. Pop it back. Oh man. There's no real exhaust rumble, huh? Yep. Yep. There's no real exhaust rumble rumble on this car. So the lights stay on for a bit. Yep. The lights will stay on for 15 seconds, and the uh, Honda dealer should set it to that. Dude, oh man, that's scary. <laughs> Crap, can you even see her? Oh no, we can't even see her. Dude. Oh no. Oh. Dude, there's the waifu. Okay. Okay, that's still too freaky. <laughs> that's still too freaky. Bye, waifu. Anyway, that was a quick uh, review of the car. And I think it's a pretty cool car. You know, definitely faster than like uh, any Civic that I've been in. And I've been in the... I've driven the the VTEX. The VTEX don't pull like this. Yeah, the VTEX don't give this pull like like a supercharger pull. So it's it's pretty cool, pretty cool car. But yeah, any questions or comments, put them at the bottom of the video. And yeah, what do you think, guys? 